What's up, lovely people, and welcome to this episode of Gears TV. On today's show, we're going to be taking a look at the Loki jacket from Helly Hansen. Spending time in the mountains, or just outside in general, pretty much any time throughout the year, can often present you with a lot of different weather to contend with. And one of the challenges of that, especially if you're in the mountains and going up like a 14er or something like that, like we have here in Colorado, is that you might start the day at 80 degrees and then wind up at 30 degrees with driving snow or something like that. And trying to pack for something like that and make sure that you have clothing for all occasions can take up both a lot of space and a lot of weight. So being sure that you have pieces that are flexible and versatile enough to account for all occasions like that is really something important. And we think that the Loki jacket, which I'm wearing right now from Helly Hansen, is one such jacket that you may want to take along. So let's have a look. So the first thing about this jacket is that it's made from Helly Hansen's Helly Tech Performance Fabric. This is a waterproof and breathable fabric without being overly stiff. Both of these factors are something that's going to come in if you're going through different thermoclines throughout your day. It also sports a DWR or durable water repellency treatment that's going to keep out any of that pesky water. Now, additionally to that, they've got a flap here, storm flap over the zipper and it's entirely seam sealed throughout the entire jacket. The fabric itself is two and a half plies, which is part of the way that they account for letting out any moisture or excess heat, but while still being tightly woven enough to keep out water molecules, hence the waterproof breathable aspects of this fabric. Keeping in mind the jacket's ability to adapt to different climates, they've also got long pit zips. Now, if you're not familiar with pit zips, they're exactly what they sound like. This one is right here in the right armpit, and it's plenty long, about 12 inches, and as you can see, it opens fully entirely into the jacket, so it's going to really allow you to regulate that heat, because let's say you're on a stuffy and hot climb or something like that, but it's still coming down and you still want to protect yourself, this is going to give you that ability to really protect yourself from the water, but still be plenty breathable. Additionally, what waterproof jacket would be complete without a hood? This is drawstring adjustable hood, and it's also adjustable around the crown of the head right here. Additionally, these sleeves are plenty long. They've also got Velcro and, Velcro here, Velcro and elastic uh, hems on them that's going to keep those, again, able to seal out when you want, but then again, open up to be as open as you want if you're getting a little stuffy. Now, right out of the box, knowing how waterproof this kind of jacket is, what's really impressive about this jacket is its weight super, super lightweight. It's going to be able to still protect you though, because a lot of jackets that are this lightweight aren't going to be able to quite hold up to the rain and the elements like that. So that's a really nice feature of this that's going to make it very packable. And it's also going to keep that weight down and helping you kind of pack for your day, whatever it is. This is going to take a lot of bulk or weight in your pack, depending on what you're doing. Now, one of the features that I particularly like is the size of the neck. A lot of jackets, sometimes they have kind of a, a constrictive neck. It's not that it's tight or anything like this, but in this jacket, there's plenty of room. And again, when you get hot inside the jacket, heat is going to rise just like anywhere else. And so this is going to be a great escape for venting that heat out of the top, even with the hood up. So it's not really constricted to your neck, thus cutting off that airflow. Really nice job there. Now the interior of the jacket is this kind of rubberized material. So this is part of the Helitech fabric that's going to be waterproof yet breathable. Now what I've noticed for me personally, and if you're a heavy sweater or if you're in a super humid environment, some of what might happen with this is that you might feel a little stuck to it. Now they've accounted for that some across the chest because the pockets, the mesh pockets here from the outside that come through the inside, that's going to keep you unstuck. But the general rest of the jacket is that material. It's this kind of rubberized material. Now, while that's great in terms of water resistance and it's still going to allow heat and moisture to escape, it's probably not going to be able to keep up that well in super humid environments. So I have seen instances where other jackets have used another a lightweight mesh like this, almost like a vest, to really keep it separate from your body so it doesn't exactly stick to you. Not a huge deal because again, the moisture management and the pit zips and all this keeps this really well ventilated. But if you were to find yourself someplace particularly stuffy and hot and humid, that may be an issue. Not a deal breaker, just something to look out for. One of the things that I personally have to contend with is the fact that I have rather broad shoulders. And when I generally get a jacket like this, one of the things that happens a lot of the time is that I wind up fitting through the shoulders, but then the rest of the jacket looks like I'm wearing a muumuu. In this jacket, that does not take place. It fits very nicely through the torso. It doesn't bag off of me. It's not something that looks unfashionable. In fact, 
I really like this actually as a casual jacket and I feel like even in more urban settings, New York City or what have you, this is a great option to be able to get away on the weekend, take it and go get rough and tumble with it, but then come back to work during the week and if you need something to keep you dry or just to keep the elements off you, this is going to be a great jacket to make that transition. Now since I do tend to have kind of broad shoulders, what happens is that the shoulder area takes up some of the sleeve and so when I extend my arm it kind of comes halfway up my forearm. In this jacket you can see my arms fully extended. I'm trying to show, I hope that's in the camera. My arms are fully extended and it's right at my wrist the whole time, which is fantastic. It's not the feeling of having to pull them down constantly and all this kind of thing. Really nice fit through the sleeve. Really impressive actually, and I really enjoy that about this piece. I have had occasion to wear layers under this to keep myself warm, and I've used this as a shell. There is plenty of room through the sleeve, through the torso, through the shoulders and everything to wear something like a fleece or a micro down insulating layer, something like that, that's really gonna make this great, again, for those let's say a climb up a 14er where you're going to go through many different thermoclines and have to account for your body heat in those situations. Now one interesting thing that I found with the Loki was the hood. Like many people when I get into driving rain in situations like that I have a tendency to lower my head. Now I don't want to lower my head to you guys because it won't really show you what I'm talking about but in this case I'll turn to the side and as you can see when I lower my head my head tends to come out. Even if I pull this forward, it doesn't really fully cover my head. So while the hood is wonderful and it fits what, fantastic for when you're sitting up and even when you tighten down the straps, it's fine. But when you want to lower your head like that, it pulls up in the tail a little bit. Now, since the tail is plenty long, it's not going to be a big deal because it's not going to pull it up over the, the waist of your pants or anything like that. But it is something that was a little bit, I, I kind of wish there was maybe an inch or so more material off the front of the hood. Of course, it could just be that I have a giant cranium. Yeah, probably that. You know, the Loki jacket from Heli Hansen is really a workhorse jacket. I can seriously see this jacket working for you, depending on where you live, of course, in three, maybe even four seasons. I mean, if you layer up properly, this is going to make an excellent shell. Now, of course, if you're minus, minus 40 or something like that, you may want to consider a larger layer. But this is a really great jacket that can take you from the trail, from running, from hiking, from skiing. It can take you uh, camping. It's going to take you up a 14er. I've got 14ers on my schedule this summer, and this is one of those things that's probably going to come with me the entire time. Its weight, its compactness. Oh, did I mention that it folds into its own pocket? At $75, the Loki is also something that's really, really affordable, especially considering how many seasons and environments that it can go across. So definitely check this jacket out. Our question for you today is, do you have a lightweight, waterproof, breathable, kind of kill-all jacket that you take with you everywhere you go? Leave your answers in the questions and comments section below. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Gears TV. Don't forget to like and favorite this video and subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to find us on all the social networks, Twitter at The Gearist, Instagram at The Gearist, YouTube.com slash The Gearist. You're watching it right now. What? Facebook.com slash Gearist. And also Google Plus. Just search for Gearist and we're right there. If you're not subscribed, please keep in mind that subscribers are eligible to enter promotions that we've got coming up very soon. So be sure to subscribe and tell your friends. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Gearist TV and we'll see you next time.